and then help them in their new job. So another type of recruiter is a, is a temp staffing, which I'm sure a lot of you have heard of. Um, so basically, they put people, they assign them to certain companies where they're going to be working short time, whether it's for a specific project or an assignment. <coughs> um, and a lot of times, these temps become permanent employees. So a consulting recruiter is kind of like a um, corporate recruiter. Um, so they're going to help interview and do the whole process, except they normally have a quota that they have to meet of how many people are hired that they um, bring in. So another one which I thought was interesting to bring up is college recruiters. Some of you might have had experience with this. So basically these are people who work for universities and they go, they travel a lot and they go and look for the brightest and most and the best students to come to their college. Um, so they're always promoting their college and um, looking for the best students. So a lot of times they'll offer certain things too to make their college seem even more attractive. So another type of recruiting is sports recruiting. Um, so these people obviously work for either universities or uh, professional teams and again they're going to be promoting um, their teams or universities and again offering certain things to make their organization stand out from um, the rest. So just to begin on some of the um, recruiting companies that are out there, Parker and Lynch is in Philadelphia. It is um, a company that focuses primarily on consulting and corporate uh, recruiting, and it's actually one of the largest in this area. So the next one is um, ACCU Staffing Services. So this one uh, specializes in temporary um, recruiting, putting, giving temps um, somewhere to go for an, until their next uh, job, but um, it's family owned and they've opened up a lot of other companies that are affiliated with um, ACCU. So contemporary staffing solutions, um, they're a little bit different. They're contemporary. <coughs> they have their own specialized um, recruiting strategies. They've kind of taken a little bit of, of each kind and like put it together for this new unique way to recruit people. And they pride themselves in having employees that have been there for a really long time, so they have a good reputation. So overall recruitment is obviously so important to a business, so important to HR, um, and you know, personnel are the most important things in a company. Without people, you don't have a company. So recruitment is, again, the most important part. Um, this summer, I will be recruiting at Aflac, so I will be um, going through um, applications on Indeed.com and other places, and again, bringing them in for interviews based on Aflac's, what, what they're looking for. So altogether, um, recruiting is, again, really important. Um, there's a lot of different things you could do with recruiting if you want to do that forever. Most HR people end up doing recruiting at some point in their HR career. So it's pretty interesting to see all the different things that you could do. You could be self-employed, you could work for a large company, big com or a small company. There's a lot of different things you could do with it. So overall, we talked about the recruiting process, where to recruit, the different laws in, re in recruitment, and um, internal versus external recruiting, and of course, jobs in recruitment. So thank you for listening, guys. I hope that you learned something, and yeah. All right, uh, guys, I need to take a 15-minute break.